So before I start my video on how we use algae water in the food forest, I quickly want to just answer a question from Anthony Burke. He asked me about this fence. Now this is what uh, we call a game fence. And normally the bottom wire is close to the soil so that um, jackal can't come through. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, they then also put in pegs to keep it down and it keeps most of the small antelope in um, except for uh, uh, war dogs. War dogs dig holes and then they allow a lot of other animals in there. So you drive next to the fence and you fix all the holes that was made by the war dogs. Then all of the big antelope also stays in. Um, things like hemsbok, they crawl through a fence, they don't jump over a fence. But the kudu can stand next to this fence and jump over it. This is about three meters high and uh, kudu make small play from this and they, they don't care, they just go over it um, standing still and going. Um, but my, most other things except for animals and maybe rhinos can stay inside of this fence. The fence was placed here by a very wealthy individual that wanted to place all of these farms into a homeowners association and uh, he wanted to improve the security of the area. So he didn't completely force me to put a fence up but uh, I didn't have much of a choice in the matter. But at the end of the day, I'm glad I got a fence. The homeowners association never got established. And so there's no old lady pushing a little letter through my gate, telling me what I can and cannot do. And uh, unfortunately, this person passed away, which is very, very sad. But uh, that is how the fence got paid for, which I am very grateful for. Birthday party tomorrow at the <laughs> visitor center. And so the kids have been told to clean the swimming pool. So how it works is we attached this pipe, swimming pool is maybe a too royal a term, farm pond. <laughs> wait, Bika, I'm making a video. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and green outside, inside. And so they are cleaning it. And so we've attached the pipe and then that runs into the food forest. And so we are filling up all the side pits with uh, green water. And so, this is one of them, over here. So the charcoal and the worm castings and all the things down there is going to get a nice boost. And then obviously all the trees around it will get a nice boost as well. Everything is coming to life. As you can see, somebody asked me about not using marulas. This marula is living now for its second year. On the farm, as you can see, the new life is sprouting there. Marula is actually a very, very wonderful tree used for so many animal products, so much food. Um, the only thing is to use it or to make money from it is very difficult um, because it's got a small amount of flesh on it and if you want to make oil or something, you need loads and loads and we don't have that uh, economics of scale on this property but for personal use and then as an overstory to grow all the other things in later on that's gonna work fantastic and then the guys came back from a long day looking for grass finding grass for the animals is now a mission but uh, for the next hour they'll be working on this swale before they go and do some other work that's not as back breaking um, and then hopefully in the next couple of days we'll make some real progress on this swell. Hendrik is making big progress. Um, Lucas and Hendrik, ach, Lucas and Simon is made basically loosening the soil and Hendrik is uh, supervising, telling them where to go and then he's removing the, the soil. A nice thing also when you do this as you can see the flow of the water from your one system to the other one so if you fill that up where it goes yeah you'll be able to see if this one fills up it goes over there it fills that one up if that one fills up where it goes from there you can see the amount of algae coming out of the pipe i wonder how good or that would be how um, nutritious that would be to the plants I wonder if it's a good fertilizer or not. 
So that is the end of my story. I will see you in the tomorrow.